What's going on? It's Spangelo. Um, I was just messing around with Pokemon Essentials for RPG Maker, and I found a way to incorporate roaming Pokemon, like in the newer games, into this. Pokemon Essentials has something called roaming Pokemon in it, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, in the newer games, they switched from, like, the grass, like, apparently, like, you know, the randomized grass. They, they switched from that, and... Uh, now you just kind of walk up to the Pokemon in the overworld and then you battle them. Thought it was an interesting concept. Figure out a way to execute it in RPG Maker. Pretty proud of myself. What do I mean by finding out or finding a way? Um, I'll show you how to make the Pokemon always reappear, how to make the Pokemon sometimes reappear for like rarer Pokemon, and then how to make them never reappear, like for legendaries or for like one time encounter ones, which are. That's the easiest, I'm not gonna lie. So first things first, if you don't know what I'm talking about with Pokemon Essentials, you'll wanna go here and download it. I'll have this in the description, this URL, and then you'll wanna just download it from here. And then you'll also want to download this, I also have in the description, but it's the Generations 1 through 7 Pokemon Overworld Sprites, which is a godsend. This is amazing. I mean, I guess it's not required, but... You'd be a fool not to get those, man. So I would just download it from here. And then once you have it downloaded, I'd put it at least in the vicinity of where your Essentials folder is. Um, and then just just go shopping, man. Start exploring. Whatever Pokemon you want in your game, um, you just want to find in here. So I'll show you off some of these. Like, here's the Bulbasaur Lime. Um, and here, here's it's Shiny. And then here's the eye. Honestly, I think the Ivysaur is the coolest looking one of them all. Um, and then there's a the shiny, but and then there's Venusaur. <laughs> so perfect. Um, I'm gonna just click on this. What you can do is right click and then click on copy down here. Or what you can also do is just click Control C on your uh, keyboard. And then what you want to do is swing on over to your Pokemon Essentials and uh, go to your graphics and the characters and then uh, right click, click paste, or click control V. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, cool. And you can rename this if you want, um, but for the sake of this video, we actually, keeping it this way will actually be in our benefit. Um, one sec, sorry about that, my dog ate a bean. But uh, now that we're back, we drop that into the characters folder, we can swing on back into the game. I'd start with whatever route you want, so we'll just go with, oh, I don't know, route one, for example. Um, and mind you, this is like Manila or what? <laughs> this is vanilla Pokemon Essentials. I didn't do anything with it. Um, so what we'll just want to do first is uh, make an event. I'll make one right here. Just double click. You'll want to name this one whatever Pokemon you just picked out. So Ivysaur for this. Uh, and if you're planning on having more than like one on there, I just put like one or, you know, uh, two three, four. Uh, for this sake, we're just having one. Uh, go down here and what do you know? We didn't change its name, so it was right on the top. So there you go. <laughs> and here's where you'd want to initiate a battle. I'll show you where you could actually pull that stuff. You want to go all the way down here on the bottom. And like on Earth Island, that one in particular. You can just copy this and copy this as well and change where it says Deoxys to Ivysaur or whatever Pokemon you picked out. And then the level here is just referring to, well, I'm sorry, the number here is just referring to its level. So there you go. Um, you can just bring those over there by just like clicking go figure, the control C or right clicking, click and copy, as uh, we talked about before. So, anyways, coming back here, we'll double click on this, and just for the sake of this video, we'll just have him say something. Uh, he'll be like, you did it. Uh, or did you? Or like uh, some Tim Allen moment. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, and then, uh, uh, um, hmm. well, yeah, yeah. What you'll want to do <laughs> is then create a switch. You'll want to just create a new switch. Uh, you don't want to mess with any of these, and you don't want to mess with the reserve. I want to mess with the reserve. I'll just make a brand new one. I would just call it something like Scene Ivy Switch. Click apply, and make sure it's on. I make a new event page just go over here click yes and then or check and then go over here make sure you have your uh, new uh, switch selected click OK boom boom perfect then 
You're gonna want to go down. <sighs> you see, the, you'll want to make another event, but you'll probably want to put this event probably closer to like the edge of the map or come like farther away from the Pokemon. But just for sake of the video, so you can see it work, I'm just gonna put it right here, so it's off the sand lot. <laughs> Great movie. So what we'll do is just double click here, and then you'll right click, and then. So I'll start with uh, making them always reappear. That one's pretty simple. Then we'll make them sometimes and never. So to make them always reappear, all you want to do is just go down here, uh, click Control Switch. Make sure it's the same one we just created. So uh, 60 in our case, or C and Ivysaur, and just turn it off. We're not completely done. Go down here to where it says Trigger and uh, click on Player Touch. This will make it so you don't have to. Uh, you just walk on it and it activates. So it's perfect. I'll also show you something real quick that's actually pretty cool about this program. So if you double click this and whatever you've named this, like you'll just, I'll just name it reappear for this purpose. Uh, whatever you name it, uh, put a comma and then size uh, two comma one. Oh Jesus, I did that completely wrong. I'm sorry. Put a comma and then space size and then parenthesis two comma one. What this will do is uh, whatever happens on this tile will also happen on this tile. It's pretty, it's pretty sick, man. Um, if you made it three comma one, it would be one two three. If you did four one one two three four. If you did uh, the second number, obviously it would edit the vertical, <laughs> the up and downies. But I can't remember if it would edit it this way or this way. Either way, we don't have to do it for this particular one. So yeah, that's pretty much that. We'll go ahead and click OK, click Save Project, go ahead and run it. Now for this save file, I'm pretty sure I'm already saved at Route 1, just for, you know, make this tutorial a little bit simpler and faster. Um, yeah, I am, okay. So, okay, we'll go ahead and uh, click on our Ivysaur. He says, you did it, maybe, <gasps> and then he's gone. You click on Enter, he's, he's not doing shit, <laughs> he's, he's gone. But, not so, not really. If we just click over here, what do you know? He's right there. Perfect. And he says the same thing. So he's not like a zombie or anything like that. It's, it's the exact same one. It just recalls it every single time. So it's perfect. That's how to make them always reappear. So if you wanted like, I sort of be like a basic bitch Pokemon, like like a Ladybug or a, like a Weedle, there you go. That's how you do that. Um, if you want to be a little bit rarer, like how an Ivysaur actually is, um, you keep this all the same. It's all down here that you just want to edit. So. I'm actually the most proud of this one, and I, I don't mean, I don't know why, it's, it's not like that big a deal, but I don't know, I was messing around with it, I'm learning the program a little bit, uh, but yeah, so essentially, you'll go down here, first off, we'll cut that, so go down here and then go to variables, you'll want to create your own variable, again, you don't want to mess with the reserves. <laughs> I want to mess with the reserves, I you, buddy. So I would just create a new one. So for this sake, I would just call it encounter rate. It just to make the most sense. And then I would go down here to random. And you can make it a range. So you can make this number whatever the hell you want. You can also make this number whatever you want too. But for, for the sake of this purpose, you can even make it negative, man. Uh, for the sake of this purpose, well, no. For the sake of the video's purpose, I'm just gonna make it just zero through two, so it's just one zero one and two. You'll see what that means in literally five seconds. So click insert and go down to conditional branch. <laughs> go down to variable and make sure it's the same one we just created. And this is where the magic happens right here. So I don't think you're ever really gonna want to click equal to unless you're trying to make something really rare. But for the most part, I think you're gonna want to mess with greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So for this sake, we'll just do less than or equal to and we'll put one. So if it is equal to zero or one, Ivysaur will not appear. We will make sure that C and Ivysaur is on, which makes him not appear. And if it's a two, or rather, it's basically saying if it's not zero or one, which these two, um, it'll be off. Uh, or sorry, he'll be seen again. <laughs> the uh, switch will be off. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, all right, cool, perfect. And then this is basically every time that you click on this, or not click, but walk on this particular tile, it's generating a random number. So it's not like it 
picks a number that is static forever. Every time you walk on this tile, and since it says this, subsequently this tile as well, um, it will always generate new numbers, which is perfect. So we'll save project. Go ahead and boopity bop, boop bop with the testing. I need another drink of water here, real quick, while it loads. All right. So click on our Ivy store. Boom, he's gone. Okay. And then he doesn't appear. What's going on? Oh, there he is. That's cool. Oh, he's gone. What's going on here? What's going on here? I demand an explanation. Oh, that's right. We said it, so he's only showing up some of the time. This is amazing. Like, this, I'm so proud of this. Because, like, by increasing that range, you can make Pokemon crazy rare. Like, Garchomps or stuff like that. Or Gabites. I'm sorry. Gabites. <laughs> the one that evolves into a Garchomp. But, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So... That's awesome. And then, honestly, to make them never appear is the most simplest. Literally, delete this and you're good. <laughs> like, all you need is this. And just to put it on Scene Ivysaur and that. Since you're not using this to call, you could also replace this with a uh, self-switch. So, uh, you just cut this, insert, self-switch, A, boom. And then, instead of this, just click on that boom boom save no <laughs> save and do that we'll go ahead and make sure it loads again here we go so we'll talk to him and now he's gone <laughs> that's it see ya we don't have anything down here to generate him again so he'll just never show up ever again <laughs> like ever <laughs> so that's that so essentially um and, and through like other control switches you can make it so like Pokemon won't appear until like you've done a certain thing in like another town or like gotten a certain badge stuff like that which is so cool so you can make it so like um, it's only until you get a certain badge just to even start appearing uh, you can just copy you can copy this this one the Larusian one any of the ones with the Mart which I'm pretty sure is just this and I thought it was Celadon but must be another town either way this is one of the ones that works so if you just click on this and go to the to go to the mart this is the script right here that checks your badge count i mean the hell with whatever this is saying here with the pv pokemon mart. but this right here is what you'd want to call so but anyways yeah you could edit this like crazy if you really wanted to use your imagination like i said with the pokemarts um but yeah, I just showed you how to make him always reappear, sometimes reappear, and then never reappear. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it. I know that Pokemon Essentials, at least 20.1, is de geared around the wild encounters of like that. But as you can see, you can work around that. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it'd be cool to see this into other Pokemon games. I'm working on mine, and it's almost done. Otherwise, I'd put it in it. But I'm so tired, I'm falling asleep. I'm going to uh, let you guys go. I hope this was helpful, and I will maybe make another one. I don't know. See ya!